Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer, and today I want to talk to you about a system. It's actually two systems of our senses that are linked together that can cause a lot of havoc in our lives. So what I'm talking about today is our vision and our hearing or auditory system. Now, there is a link called the vestibular ocular reflex, which means that whenever our system is stimulated inside of our inner ear to kind of sense motion or being upright, that our eyes with movements are also being stimulated. This is how we can drive down the road at 60 miles an hour and be in motion, sense motion, yet we can still see a clear and stable image of things as we're driving. Or maybe we're riding that teacups or spinning and twirling type of ride at an amusement park. And it's the thing that allows us to be able to kind of keep everything visually stable to see clearly. Well, that's part of the system, but there's also the component about like hearing that's linked to our vision system as well. And what we know is that for kids, particularly sitting in a classroom, a lot of this stuff has to happen all at the same time. They might need to be looking at the smart board or the notes the teacher is taking on a white erase board. And maybe they need to be able to listen to what's happening at the same time. So they have to have coordinated eye movements coordinating processing of hearing and at the same time they might have to tune out this the crazy distractive noises going on all around them. So there's a lot of things that has to happen in this system of kind of auditory and vision in order for us to be able to process things and perform well in a classroom. Now it can affect other things too. It can certainly affect us as we perform on a job as well. But these two systems are intimately linked together. And if we think about it, a lot of kids who are challenged in school will have problems with auditory and we think, well, maybe they don't hear very well. And oftentimes they have visual problems that we don't even tend to think about. If there's an issue with auditory processing, there's an issue with vision processing because they're intimately linked together. Now I've done a little bit of research, so it's kind of interesting, a bunch of things that I ran across. And I looked at um, what percentage of kids, um, and there's a lot of different statistics out there as far as what percentage of kids are struggling in the classroom that these two systems are linked together. And it's actually pretty staggering. Now various Articles gave various percentages, so I won't quote those, but I can say that it seemed to be pretty high and a lot higher than what most people would tend to think. So if you know that your child has some auditory perception issues or processing issues, then you also need to become aware of the fact that they will have vision processing problems as well. That's where we come in. Give us a call at 618-288-1489 to learn how we can help your student to process everything better. Not only can we improve their vision processing, but we're improving the overall output of the entire brain and auditory processing will be affected as well. So call us at 618-288-1489. Also, you can go to our website. You can um, go to visionforlifeworks.com. There's a questionnaire there for you to fill out on the main page. Fill that out and we'll send over to us, especially if you're not local and you'd like to know how we might be able to help you out if you're not even local. And for doctors and therapists, check out our Next Level Vision Therapy group on Facebook. Thank you so much.